guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys some ways that you can get your hamster to chew. Now, chewing is super important for a hamster's health because their teeth do continuously grow unlike humans. So because their teeth are continuously growing, you don't want them to become overgrown. You have to make sure that they're they are chewing things because when they chew things hard, that basically means and trimming their teeth up. Um, and then their teeth just become sanded and then it just gets shorter and shorter. So that's why it's always recommended by lots of people to provide a lot of chews for your hamster. However, a lot of hamsters do not enjoy chewing on wood. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get your hamster to chew on wood. And as a side note, I would like to include that chewing on the bars does not count as trimming their teeth or anything like that because chewing on the bars is very unhealthy. It means that they are stressed and they are not, and it means that they have a small cage. So if your hamster is chewing on the bars, please change them to a large cage. The first tip to get your hamster to chew on wood is to give them a ton of different chews. So just here I have a few chews. Um, yeah, so you have to make sure because some hamsters are pretty picky about the wood they chew and maybe they'll only chew on lupa or they're only chew on willow. So it's really important that you're giving them a variety of different types of chews. You need a, you need some chews, doesn't really matter, just get some wooden chews. I just have a wooden chew here and some sticks. And then you also need your hamster's food mix. So I'm going to take my chews and I'm kind of just going to stick them in the food. Make sure they're really well buried. Yeah, so I'm just going to stick those in there. The lid on. I would recommend you leave this in more than 24 hours because, you know, it's just the smell would go on it better. And then after a few days, you can just take your stick out. Take it out, your stick should smell like their food mix. And then you just put it in their cage. They're going to smell the food and they're going to be like, oh my gosh, I love this. And then they're going to chew it. And this works really well for a lot of hamsters. So I really recommend this way to do it. For the next hack, you can take a... Uh, um, willow ball. This is just made of willow and you're also going to need some treat. And now you're going to take your tree and you're going to kind of slip it in there. Kind of slip that in there. Slip this one in here. So you kind of squeeze it through the little ball there. So I just have some seeds. And then See, you can't. Really, you can see them inside there. And now it's really nice, and your hamster is going to really like to chew this because as soon as they see the treats inside, they're going to try their best to get the treats out. For the next tip, you are going to need some peanut butter. I just have some supernatural peanut butter, creamy. Um, you're also going to need a wooden chew and a knife. So I took a really little bit of peanut butter. That is almost how much I took. Um, now you only should use a little bit because too much peanut butter will be bad for your hamster. So you should have your chew and then you have to put place the peanut butter on their stick. Kind of like that um and then scrape it down with the back of your knife like that Make sure that you have a very thin layer um on the so you can't see the peanut butter but it's on there so i spread the peanut butter on my stick 
Now I have a tissue and I'm just gonna kind of wipe it all off. Um, like that. There we go. So I got all the peanut butter off. Now only the smell is left on the stick. And now your hamster is going to smell it and think they're eating a peanut when they're actually eating more. So yeah guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. Bye!